Hey guys, Smith here, and today we are back with another video. Now, this is a Rome 2 campaign that I'm doing, but a lot of people don't want to sit through campaigns. And you know, some people might think campaigns are boring, so they might not want to watch them. So instead, I thought, what if we made a campaign where it just showed important battles and then just an overhead map? So you'll probably see how it goes along. But this is a Rome campaign. I'm playing Rome. I, this is the Rome original map. So not all the regions are the same as in Rome 2. But I will make changes to edit them when the time comes. But right now, these are all the regions that are important for pretty much this video. They're all the regions I can see at the beginning. So I start with Rome, uh, Brindisium, uh, two cities here. I forgot them. Uh, the cities close to me, well not the cities, but the factions close to me are Carthage, Syracuse, and Samnium. Not Samnium. Etruscans. <laughs> so I started out by building an army here, oh, and part of the series is you won't see meaningless stuff like I moved two units here, or I moved an army around. You'll hear stuff like there was a rebellion in Brundisium, so I moved the army from Roma to go fight Brundisium. And if it was an important battle, like I was outnumbered, or it was just a cool battle, then I will post it. If it was small battle, I'll just say and a decisive victory here. Now let's start. So I started the campaign and I started building an army at Rome because I wanted to try to blitz the Etruscans off the face of Italy as quick as possible. So I quickly moved with an army this way and they met me in a battle here. So I am gonna let you guys see that and I will see you when it's done. All right, so here we are. In room two, first battle which is the only. I'm, one. My bone ringing. I'm very sorry for any background noise, but uh, here we are with the battle. It's first battle, so we might as well show that off. Huh? Attacking Pestigo, defensive Pestigo, defensive. defensive. I can. Uh, can I have him call you back? You just started recording. So, we're going to. There's some good background noise. But we are going to attack because this is like three units versus a lot of units. Alright, so. I'm just gonna move. It's not very interesting, but it's like a three unit battle. So, with this series, usually I will be doing small battles, but it's the first. So, it's kind of important. We're just going to speed this up and we're going to have the troops come running over like a bunch of little ants. Okay. So we're going to have these guys move up to like here. And then we'll have the Velites. I want these guys to go back here. I'm not very good. And I just, this guy just come over here. No, why are we getting that close? We have a really good range. We could just go to like here, which is still better. Valates, which have run far ahead of the other units. So as they get to uh, die quicker. Velotay's retreat. Get back behind this wall of Hastati. Which just decides not to shoot. Charge them. Alright. So 
winning, winning, we, we want you not going to win. Get stabbed. Yes, the general's under attack. So very scary. These guys are spearmen, so let's pull them back. And go this way. Alright, so we broke these guys over here, so let's move this army in this way. Move this army, these units this way. I mean, this is just a skirmish or slaughter. Got a horseman here. Can he survive against spears? I doubt it. But let's charge. The back of the enemy. And the enemy general is dead. It's a very decisive battle, very fun, much easy. They only have 16 men remaining. Takes forever to load. And step. Alright guys, so after the decisive battle here outside of the Lathry, we are able to continue moving on to have another battle at Velathri. Unfortunately, well, actually not unfortunately, that battle wasn't really interesting. It didn't have the treason. They had like three levy units, so there wasn't really a point to showing that. But either way, it was a very decisive win, which means we took over a region already. So we've taken over that region. And so we decided to wait, well, I decided to wait a few turns, but then after a little while I get antsy, so I get my army, and I move over to the next city along the line. They didn't have any units, they pretty much had like four levy units, decisive battle. You know, pretty much what you'd expect, next battle. So, we're doing pretty good. We've taken over most of Italy. And Carthage declares war on me. Now Carthage, the Ministry of Moving Arms Gray, has a fleet that they're moving up this way. So I take my fleet and I start like moving down this way. But then the Carthaginians just go this way, so I turn back around and because of the war with uh, the Etruscans, I try to make peace because I wanted to fight Carthage. They said no, so I start gearing up another army to attack, and I pretty much send it down with my fleet, and pretty much the Samnites, they take a navy and they send it over here, and we have this really big battle in the middle of the ocean with you guys are going to see now. Alright guys, so we are here on the next battle, which is actually the first sea battle, so I'm going to record this one too. It's a pretty big battle though. This is my army, this is my fleet versus their fleet, but I have a backup fleet coming in with more ships, which is my main land army. So you have those, and it's it's bigger than this. Yeah, it's a pretty big army. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all of the uh, melee ships together. Yeah. I have a lot of those. Let's get my entire force to advance forward. I want to put like some troops in the control of AI because I do kind of like letting the AI control troops. So I'm going to let the AI take control of the skirmishers. AI group. 
I'll have to get my main mini force underway. Just make this long line. Let's get the skirmisher force together as well. And everyone who can row hard. Made a lot of melee ships. I love looking at like these are. Oh no 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 you back. Oh no it's it's page up so now I can be in the boots of a soldier on the boats in the middle of rain. Yes, this is my grand army. Okay, so I'm going to pause right now so I can orchestrate the attack. No, we need to ram. No, you're a missile. Put more units into that ship, because we have a lot of ships to spare. We outnumber them, but that doesn't mean winning the battle. I think we have ships that can ram. Ramming ships are the best. I love ramming ships. They are pretty good. And then we're going to put these guys into a group attack under control of the AI. Hopefully. Let's just have them go around and support the frontline ships. You know, I want to take control of this again. I'm going to take back control of this and send these guys to support the front line ships. And then there you go. These ships grow hard. No. These ships cannot either. Oh these ships can. And they're smaller so they're moving faster. The Roman Navy. The Roman support transport ships, which look more like a navy. Are they advancing? No, they're going to hold their ground. And, um, they're very Roman looking shields right here. In fact, this is a Roman shield. This shield right here. Then we'll come over here. Pretty much the exact same. I wish these transports can grow hard because these ships are going to be very outmatched early on in the battle. Just going to go, go to ramming speed. And there we go. Decisive. And then boom. Out of here. So I'm going to lose some ships. Let's go. Let's get the big ships in here. We can support all these little ships before they lose the battle. Because they're going to lose if not supported. Fortunately, this area right here is about to be hit with some pretty big support. From two transport ships, and the transport ships are awesome. They're just, they're very good ships, I think. And we're gonna, we need to get these transport study over here too, because these uh, guys over here and this uh, 
cavalry. You need to board and join the fight here. Or actually we'll have you guys ram this ship. Ram a ship. Okay, so we're winning. There we go, let's get these guys on board. <laughs> yeah, um, you need to actually attack. Moral support isn't gonna help right now. Nope, they're just gonna wait till they finish fighting. This way, this ram. There we go. We need to get more ships ramming and boarding, and just in general fighting. We're definitely winning. I mean, there's some ships they're just getting overpowered, and then there's this ship. That's my ship. Crap, that's not good. But it has no actual fire damage. Go oh, help more enemies. Don't help the enemies, I mean, deal with the enemies. And there goes some levies. We need to deal with these guys. Back on deck. They're overpowering us. We need to take back the waves. Um, why don't I have more ships in the front lines? Let's bring a ship over this way. I mean, the truth is, it's hard to maneuver your ships around. So we're running there, we're running here. Let's try to maneuver these guys through and get around on the side. Uh, they're just Velites. But any support will help, I guess. Set them on quick reload, too. Oh, crap. Dang. We lost a general. He's pretty good, general. Guess that's what happens when you throw your generals away. You lose them. Some generals will fight forever and ever and just never die. And then some generals just die. Let's go. Let's finish off these guys. Goodbye, Lucy Sleepy. You died. But you honorably killed some troops. And then they're now jumping outside. Congratulations. You sunk a ship. You sunk my Italian ship. We're still winning in every side. Especially now that we got this over here. This battle's been going in our favor for a while. Mm, what? They've taken over a ship. They took over my little ship. It's a very interesting battle. I have no clue what's going on. General's fallen in battle. Mm -hmm. Small unit.
And this battle over here is one. And we'll, we will have destroyed their main force, so even if we lose some units, it's not going to compare to the amount of units that we we'll lose. And especially since they're in a small position, every single unit for them counts. Where well, this is just going to free up money for me to get more units. Do I have any ships that can ram still? Where are you? Okay, we need to ram this, like, transport. Oh no. <laughs> are these guys actually going to go in and try to fight him? Oh, is this one of our ships? Probably. General's under attack. Our general's under attack. Oh, they're boarding now. Quick, join in the fight. Plus, because our general's gonna die. This is so cluttered. Go this way. We're going to try to go around and ram the ship until we can save our general. It's the ultimate goal right now. Save at least one person. If we can save one person, that will be equal to saving a million. And you, like, join in here. We need as many ships as we can. Ram them. This is just gonna do it. <laughs> and it's just gonna ram its friend. But that's apparently still enough. Just gonna ram them again. We nudge them. So this battle, I don't even know what's going on anymore. This versus this. We're well, outnumbered by 20, but they're Romans. And you know Romans don't lose a battle. Except for when we do. And ram the ship <laughs> like they fall down each time there we go ram the ship turn around okay go this way Turn around again. Row hard into the side of the enemy ship. Turn around. Okay, good. You caught him on fire. Ram the enemy ship again. Because we are going to save our general. Turn around. I don't think we need to do it in our time. This is how you save a general from your certain death. Well, um, actually, he still might die because uh, they're still here, but you know what? But we would have won anyway. Now, they're on technically one of our ships an Italian Illyrian raider ship. But they won't come off that ship. So, what we need to do is we need to get all. We don't even own this ship. It has three people left. The traitors. They've joined the Etruscans. They've joined the Etruscan League. Alright, so we need to just like ram them over and over and over again. Alright, we're gonna... Gonna have to do this again? Hey. 
Alright, you guys go that way. These guys will go this way. Together. Gonna ram the enemy at the same time. Ramming speed. Ram and we win. They died. We lost about a thousand. And multiple ships. They lost. Pretty much everyone. And they killed a thousand. I know who left. So everyone, as you saw, we had a very decisive victory here in the Mediterranean, only losing a few ships while crushing the army from Samnium. They have been forced to retreat back to, not Samnium, the Etruscans, they've been forced to retreat back to their city. So, we are finally making preparations to do the final assault. And sometime during all this fighting, Syracuse took this from Carthage. But you will have to stay tuned till next episode to see if we can win the battle for the final city in the Etruscan Empire. It's not even an empire, what am I saying? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you're enjoying the series so far, if you think it's a good idea. Mythic out.